In this video, uh, we're going to talk about uh, an additional technique uh, which can be used for removal of difficult and feeder vena cable filters. As we all know, there has been increase in scrutiny on the removal and feeder vena cable filters, and there have been some recent technological developments to try and improve the centering of filters. This all reflects the need, one, to remove them, and two, the need to center these. However, we are often faced with a situation where the filter is tilted, and it can be very difficult to actually recapture some of these filters, and a number of different techniques have been developed. Uh, the principal problem is that we cannot steer uh, the snare towards the tip of the filter um, and we're going to show you a way of uh, adding steering capacity to a, a snare uh, using a robotic catheter. The catheters we're going to talk about are, as you see on the left, is the Magellan uh, Hansen robotic system and through the nine French uh, sheath we can actually deliver a clover leaf snare as a recapture system and use the robot to actually steer the uh, catheter around inside the inferior vena cava. And I'm going to demonstrate this in two ways, first of all on the any porcine model and secondly on the a live retrieval of an inferior vena cava filter in a patient. Uh, conceptually this is essentially what we are dealing with, the filter is placed in the fever vena cava. Um, the uh, robotic catheter is going to be advanced uh, close to the tip of the uh, filter. Uh, through this we can actually then advance a snare. The snare is then used in traditional format really just to capture the um, uh, the filter and it will the in this case, the select filter will come back fairly easily inside the robotic catheter and it can be removed. Um, in this situation, which we've just retrieved, this was done in the porcine model. Uh, we used uh, 3D imaging uh, to actually evaluate the position um, of the filter uh, prior to retrieval. Uh, this is something that's particularly useful, uh, especially when the filter is not centered appropriately. We've seen, for example, uh, bony protuberances which uh, precluded uh, the, the capture ratio of the, of the tip of the snare. The porcine model is fairly uh, representative. Sometimes you even get penetration of the legs of the filter as can be demonstrated here using um, intraoperative cone beam uh, CT scan. So quickly you can see that the catheter has been brought down from the jugular position. Uh, the second catheter uh, as part of a filter course was actually removed, uh, used for uh, ephemeral retrieval of filters. Here we're going to focus on the removal of the robotic catheter. The robotic catheter is very easily controllable. Uh, we can also bend this from side to side the snare can be induced in, in through, the, through the robotic catheter and then as we close the catheter millimeter by millimeter the, um, uh, the uh, Magellan can be advanced making sure that we snare the apex of it uh, and then slowly and in very uh, under very controlled fashion that's the real advantage of this you can advance the snare collapse the legs and then manually we're actually pulling on the filter and you can see it can be fairly easily retrieved and this is a fairly straightforward uh, filter retrieval situation however the, we can actually steer the cat the, the snare around inside the inferior vena cava and that is the real advantage uh, to uh, potentially using uh, robotic techniques still somewhat in this infancy not many places have availability but it gives a level of control uh, when doing endovascular procedures that really can't be achieved uh, in any other fashion. So now on to the patient we use the standard jugular approach we always use ultrasound guidance to the uh, the jugular vein and you can see we're accessing it here. Um, what is going to uh, the setup in the operating room is somewhat different in that we have a uh, patient basically is placed on the floor of the table feet towards the robot. Our robot is mounted on the bottom left the side of the uh, of the table. Um, and so in this, this is done with the patient awake and under conscious sedation, jugular access. Uh, we reverse the image uh, so that it, you know, it feels like the patient is in the usual position. You can see here's the robot. The robot has been, is being assembled and we're about to insert the, uh, the, the, the catheter, the robotic catheter itself into the RCM or robot control control uh, module um, and once this is in place these are the, the systems that we use we were retrieving a select and feed vena cable filter using a clover snare and we used the 50 centimeter long Magellan robotic catheter um, 
essentially this is uh, the, the filter that was in place. It was slightly tilted, not particularly difficult. Uh, using standard manual techniques, we deflected the wire down into the um, in, uh, the iliac vein. You really want to put it uh, so that it sits in close proximity to the, the, the tip of the snare. At this point, we, uh, in standard fashion, do an inferior vena cavagram. Once again, just to make sure there was no clot. Again, you can see there's some filter leg penetration. This filter is slightly tilted, but uh, nevertheless, the apex remains free. This situation will going to show you how you can actually steer the robotic catheter around inside the inferior vena cava. So simply by controlling the, um, the, the control module, we can actually sweep. Uh, this is a snare which is present inside the robotic catheter. So we now have the ability to add steerage to an otherwise non-steerable device and to direct the snare where particularly where we want it to go. And here you can see that we've, we're moving it towards the tip of the uh, retrieval cone of the inferior vena cable filter the clover leaf is is then deployed we can then use the robot to steer it back into position um, we then advance the robot closing the snare uh, and we're checking it in standard fashion in two different dimensions to make sure that we're in proximity to the snare uh, once we're sure that we're in the appropriate capture position we simply uh, press the advance button on the robot and incrementally uh, we have complete control over this you'll see it, it just gradually moves forward um, uh, over uh, the the tip of the filter and we'll then collapse the filter down we do have manual control of the back of the snare and that allows us to uh, to actually do the final part in, in standard fashion by pulling the filter legs back up and into the into the snare itself and you're going to see how we go ahead and capture this that's just to, to repeat what we were looking at filters in position we have checked that we have capture and we simply going to advance the robot down uh, pull the snare a little tighter to engage it on the hook and this time you're going to see the robot will slide right down over the the, the tip of the filter and so we really think that the robot adds a, adds a lot of, uh, of uh, possibilities here. And so once it's been retrieved, uh, we can see that, that it has been removed. Um, the feed vein cable is clean. And what the, the robot does is it gives us an advantage in being able to add steerability uh, to um, any uh, capture system or even atherectomy catheters or, or, or thrombus removal systems that otherwise basically are not steerable and that's what we're very interested in the use of robots. So this is the first case ever of an inferior vena cable filter or retrieval with the Magellan robotic system. Thank you very much.